What's up YouTube? We are three days away from Christmas. I just can't wait. I am just so excited. In the last video, we talked about dynamic stretching, which you should be doing before your workout to maintain elasticity in your muscles. Click on the icon to watch that video. When you are in a hurry to get a workout done, you may neglect stretching, but you shouldn't. Today, we will be seeing some examples of static stretching which you need to do at the end of every workout. We will hold each stretch for 5 to 15 seconds long. Post-workout stretching helps in releasing lactic acid built throughout the workout. It will improve your flexibility and range of motion. It will also help your muscles recover faster after an intense workout and a great way to release stress and tension. Remember few points before you start stretching. Don't force yourself into any pose. Do every stretch or pose as per your level of flexibility. Don't stretch beyond what's comfortable. Don't forget to breathe and start slowly and gradually. Love yourself in the process of becoming better version of yourself. Thank your body for everything it allows you to do. Let's get started. Butterfly stretch. Bring the soles of your feet together. Drive your knees down towards the mat. If your knees are up, that's okay. You can stay right there or bend forward as per your level of flexibility. Start in a high plank position and bring your body into the shape of an A. Press the floor away from you as you lift through your pelvis. As you lengthen your spine, lift your sit bones up towards the ceiling. Now press down equally through your heels and the palms of your hands. You can stay on your toes if you are facing challenge while standing on your feet. Begin on your knees with your legs and feet hip width distance, cross your hands behind you, engage your core, lift your chest and reach back maximum as you can. Advanced version is touching heels with your hands. This is one of my favorite pose. Cross one of your leg and extend back leg as much as you can. You can stay in this position or lean forward for deeper stretch depending on your flexibility. Don't force or push yourself into the pose. Yoga teaches you self-love and acceptance. You are exactly where you need to. Stand straight or you can bend your knees slightly if you are a beginner. Keep your back straight and hinge from hips. Use your core strength to touch your toes. You can touch your knees or shins if you are not able to touch your toes. Yoga is not about the pose. It's a space to fall, to cry and to grow. Start with low lunge and place your back leg on the floor and extend as much as your body allows. You can stay on your hands for 5 to 10 seconds or go down on your elbows for deeper stretch. Keep breathing. Start in a sitting position and keep your legs wide as much as you can. Now try to touch your one foot with your hands and hold for 5 to 10 seconds and repeat on other side. Don't forget to breathe. Bring your toes together and your knees as wide as your mat and you are gonna sit back and reach your hands in front of you and forehead down to the mat. Just relax and don't hold your breath. Come into tabletop position with your hands under your shoulders and knees under your hips. Inhale as you drop your belly towards mat. Lift up your chin and chest and gaze towards ceiling. As you exhale, draw your belly to your spine and round your back. Thank you so much guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you like the video and share it with your friends. I will see you next Sunday. Love yourselves no matter what.